Hey guys. So I have a question today, and uh, just leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this. Uh, so I'm looking at doing some, I guess if you want to call it, not really preventive maintenance, but maybe cost effective maintenance. My Cub Cadet has been giving me a little trouble lately. Matter of fact, I just got it out of the shop yesterday. I'm going to use it today. Um, and what's happening is the engine has been giving me some trouble. I've been having to get it worked on. And I had to put it in the shop once this past winter. It was, oh, I guess it was a hundred and maybe so dollars to get it fixed. I put it in the shop two weeks ago and the guy worked on it. And then when I got it back, it wasn't running. Well, I never left the shop with it. It wasn't running quite like it should have been. And it would, matter of fact, it wouldn't even start. Let's bag that up. It wouldn't even start. So I left it that way. Ended up, he had to put a coil on it. And I picked it up yesterday. First time, I paid him 95 for what he had done. And yesterday, I paid him another 80 Right there, that's a little over 300 bucks. I'm looking at, and, 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 and some people don't like them, but I don't have a problem with them. I can get a, 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 a commercial 25 horsepower Briggs and Stratton turf cutter for 650 bucks brand new so I'm looking at maybe putting putting back a few dollars and and, and, and looking at getting me a, a a new engine to go on it rather than cause you think about it I spent just this last two three months I spent 300 bucks here a little over 300 for another 300 I got a brand new engine let me know what you think let me know what you think. Should I buy that other engine, hold on to it, and if I need to, and just stop spending money? Because this is running good, but I'm having to spend money on it, and I don't like spending money like that. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, Johnny with Upscale. So, you may remember me talking about uh, the lawn that I did, uh, that I got a package deal that they had three uh, properties. Well, this particular house is a new property for us, another new property guy. And um, this lady saw the work that we did on that house. She wanted us to do her. Do the work, do a good job, guys. Never and the work will find you, you won't have to. It's a new property, take a look at it, it's a, it's a spring cleanup, but
but uh, we get it done. We'll take a look. And this is a corner property. It's right behind the house I was telling you about. So we're gonna get this done, guys. It's a Saturday, and again, normally we don't do anything on Saturdays, but um, hey, we gotta get it. It's the beginning of the season. It's March. Spring cleanups are in. Wind's blowing. I hope you can hear me. But uh, there's my man JC over there raking leaves. And these particular leaves, what I don't like is, and I told her we're gonna have to put on a winter package. And we did get a winter package with her. She's got leaves that's been on the ground since October, so you know what that's gonna be. It's gonna be tough to get these leaves cleaned up, but we're gonna get it. There it is, guys. We're getting ready to get it cleaned up. We'll be back with a finished product. So guys, we just about got all the leaves blowed out, and she had quite a few. Let's take a look at the back, and she says she wants the back to stay like it is. So guys, if you saw what I just did, with that ground cover that she has, she wants that to stay there, but she wants it level and neat. And uh, hey guys, it's just like anything else. It turned one of the guys that she had doing it, she said they didn't show up anymore after October. Guys, you got to get your winter program, especially if you are in the south. You've got to have a winter program to go. People want winter lawn care. It's just that simple. All right, it's nice and level. Let me show you what I did. All you have to do, guys, take your string trimmer, and you can level that stuff down. You don't have to do a whole lot of, it's nothing big. People will make it sound like it is, but just take your string trimmer and just level it down. And then edge it up, just like you're edging a sidebar. Take a look at that. All right, let me finish edging this. <laughs>
she wanted all this ground cover real level. There it is. Put a good trench around it. Take a look at the trench. That's the upscale wood, guys. Yeah, the back. No leaves, no errors. That is. What a difference. Here's the other driveway. We have the driveway. There it is, guys.